um, this mannequin was also part of the piece. So you'll notice that she has these sort of um, what you would associate with the coon image lips and um, and these coins over her eyes. So, um, you know, putting coins over a, a person's eyes is something that is part of the death ritual. You put them over the person's closed eyes and they're supposed to pay their the deceased person's passage um, across the, the river Styx or wherever they are moving to into the afterlife. So um, this mannequin or this being actually has the dead person's coins over their open eyes um, because when you don't love yourself that's a that's a type of death you're killing yourself um slowly and and definitely um violently so you're perpetrating violence you're basically murdering yourself when you murder your relationship um to yourself loving yourself loving your culture etc um so and then this collar um which is um you know which is the replica right now you may be able to see that it has a little texture on it when the items are created they're smooth so the 3d printed items are smooth um and so now i'm having to rebuild the the thing to add texture to it so um you know it opens like the um actual slave collars do um and normally in real life this might have been closed with a lock right um but mine is going to be closed with something different that relates to the piece but i still wanted that that option um so this is going to actually be once the build up is finished and it's just about finished i have some other things to do and some sanding etc but um it is going to be um painted to look like metal and then there's some additional finishes that will go on it but essentially this is it is life-sized um I, I looked online some people have had them created um other people have had them created and um to do different lectures and talks etc um and i would see them try them on so i decided to do that and um it was it was um I can't even tell you it was very it was a very emotional experience to to think about the fact that to think about you know having this affixed to you in real life and to just um reconsider and and ha and be reminded about the um um the level of brutality associated with the institution of slavery um was was just overwhelming for me i don't know how people were able to be so calm in trying those things on in the other videos that i saw online and you can you know you can google them and and see people trying on slave collars and originally um when i first conceived of the collar i was like okay well i gotta make it because you know i looked online you know there you can find them but they're pricey and it wasn't exactly what i wanted so I was like, oh, well, I'll just go and sign up for a class at the Crucible and I'll just smith it. And then I was like, Tracy Brown, you ain't going smith no nothing. <laughs> I barely have time to heat up soup. When am I going to go have time to learn blacksmithing, much less, <laughs> much less be, be in there making slave collars and curly guys? There's no way. So um, then I decided to try having it 3D printed. The reasons that it was so hard um, was um that obviously it was calling up trauma you know these are my people so obviously anybody empathetic is going to feel something but for me it was just like it really called up a lot of trauma and um and it was real and even the reality of creating this piece with a white man you know that as somebody who's outside my own culture who isn't going to have the same relationship to the experience and before people start flooding the chat with a whole bunch of superficial, we are all one people and racist accounts, I don't wanna hear it. I'm talking about the reality of trauma that is experienced by people of African descent in this country when you start talking about chattel slavery. That's real, it's complicated. Um, it's a feeling and an experience that I have to talk, talk about